As Britons go on holiday, the United States is getting a different kind of tourism from Latin America. Some residents are booking flights to the U.S. to get their COVID vaccine. As CNN's Rafael Romo reports. He leaves before dawn carrying two suitcases for the long trip. After hugging his family, Elber Estela is off to the airport. The Peruvian business owner from Lima is traveling to Seattle. This is not just any trip, he says, but a life or death decision. Our political environment means our government is unable to fulfill its duty, and that's why I have made this decision, Estela says. His goal is spending a month in Seattle, just enough time to get both doses of the Pfizer vaccine. His wife, Ursula, who's also traveling to the United States but later, says she only has enough time to get the Johnson & Johnson single-shot vaccine. The vaccination has been very slow in our country and we have decided we can't wait any longer. We were seeing many cases around us and the intensive care units are overwhelmed, which means you can die, she said. Together, they have spent $2,200 to have three members of their family, including their 18-year-old daughter, fly to Seattle for a COVID-19 shot. Elbert arrives first. No por el sueño americano. This is not about the American dream, he says upon arriving. This is about the vaccine dream. Just like this Peruvian family, many in Latin America who are tired of waiting and have the means to do it, are traveling to the United States to get a coronavirus vaccine. Florida imposed ID restrictions in January due to a sharp increase in the number of foreigners seeking a COVID-19 shot in the Sunshine State. You have people that live here six months, that's fine. They use the hospitals here, they pay taxes, but to just kind of come in from another country or whatever, you know, we, we don't support that and we're not going to allow that. But Susana Milano, an Argentinian PR specialist who was spending time in Florida, says her country's passport was sufficient identification to get the shot. They didn't ask for anything else, she said. In fact, so many people from Argentina are traveling to Florida that according to this travel expert, the price of a ticket from Buenos Aires to Miami rose from an average of $800 in May of 2019 to approximately $2,700 this month. According to Argentina's state-run carrier, in the first quarter of this year, their four Miami-bound weekly flights were at about half capacity. Now its six weekly flights are at 70% capacity. In Latin America, traveling to get a shot has become a wedge issue between the haves and the half-nots. The Peruvian health minister has been critical of those who travel, saying it reflects his country's inequality. But Elber Estela says, it's not about money or social class, but about taking care of his family. The minister is not going to feed my children or take care of my business if I'm no longer around, he says. All right, ready? Yeah, ready. At long last, Estela gets his first shot. And now, he says, he anxiously awaits for the rest of his family to do the same. Rafael Romo, CNN.